um, so I'm on my way to KB uh, for those not familiar who's not from Brunei it's Kuala Blai it's about a hundred sixty kilometers away maybe I'm not sure <laughs> but yeah I'm driving to KB I'm gonna stay the night I got work tomorrow um, but yeah I'm gonna be staying at uh, the Plaza Sutra Biru I think yeah so it's right in town and it's next where next to where our um, showcase will be um, it's called the BIBD home showcase so yeah it's a it's a big uh, pop-up event um, organized by um, the collective arts so there's gonna be a lot of vendors um, so it should be fun and tomorrow happens to be the um, first time uh, of uh, Blight Kucheria so looking forward to that I brought my bike as you can see from the clip just now um, so I'll probably join the 6 until 10 just before uh, the start of our um, event so yeah um, haven't been uh, vlogging anything since, um, since I got back from my trip uh, the Penang trip um, so yeah I think this should be fun so it's just me alone first time bringing in um, driving Akana to KB uh, last week actually last few days I, I, I drove to Tutong for some work also so why do I always touch my nose anyway um, so yeah just gonna have a really easy drive uh, so I should get there in about an hour so yeah I'm gonna crank up the music and you know have some car karaoke see you in a bit be drove pretty slow like 100 km um yeah got here about about 15 minutes ago so 5 20 or something and i'm already in my room i guess you guys probably see the clip there but yeah anyway let's have a tour this is a very nice room it's a really huge room nice big bed nice chilling area nice sofa probably fall asleep there later um, it has a, it has a kitchen <laughs> don't know if I'll be doing anything this area um, yeah nice entry and then also um, standard table there's free wi-fi as a fridge empty fridge maybe i'll buy something to i don't know maybe mm, the safe that's pretty essential 
pretty huge bathroom nice shower there nice view too okay yeah so I'm staying here for one night uh, Plaza Sutra Biru I'm not sure how much this is it's paid by work <laughs> okay you know just one of the perks of working on my work I guess you can say that <laughs> um, but yeah um, I don't know what I want to do now but I'm probably gonna go out and check out the venue first and then probably dinner I haven't decided where yet mm, it's been a while um, I stayed a night in KB so um, but I have a long story about KB uh, I'll probably tell it later I grew up here so you know this is like my second home yeah anyway later later. Ooh. Good morning people. <sighs> it's pretty nice morning here in KB. Um, it's about 7.15, no, 7.05. Um, I haven't had my breakfast yet. They said, they asked me what time I wanted. I said 6.30. But when I came down, it's not. There's none. So I'm just gonna go, you know, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna go eat somewhere. Uh, and yeah, gonna set up my bike um, and go exploring KB. I've never ever cycled in KB before, so it should be fun. Um, had a good sleep, pretty alright. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Wow, there's a lot of people. This is pretty nice. My God, this this. Um, I, I mentioned before I, I grew up in KB, right? Yeah. So, um, so these roads are like you know, uh, it, it's it's so familiar to me, more than familiar. I I lived here in KB for six years, so obviously I've gone through this road for countless times. But yeah, so it's good to finally be able to um, ride and you know, and there's a lot of people. Um, let's see if we can go around some of the places, you know, where I usually hang out at. Well, I didn't actually hang out because I was like really little. I was just like probably five six years old so it should be interesting heading to the uh, V Plaza there's the 
there's the park is there apparently that's where everything is starting so we'll see how I can see some people talking already so this one is very new I mean at least to me it wasn't here when I was still living in KB and so is this park yep I, I remember this green patch of area there used to be houses also I guess they all demolished but yeah it's interesting there's a lot of people from the look of it and I forgot to bring my helmet ha! anyway let's have a look how's uh, KB Surya uh, Blight Kuchuria like Blight Kuchuria okay <laughs> This is where I basically spent the first seven years of my life. That green area used to be where my flat is. I don't know why it's demolished. Maybe it's, it wasn't safe. So yeah, so this is where, this is Jalan Laksmana, I think. Oh no, no, this is Jalan Panglima. Yeah, just opposite there is the hospital. So we have a good view of the uh, mental ward from our veranda. So my mom works in the hospital, so it was pretty close for her to go to work. And uh, every time we finish school, we, we just go back home. And uh, to keep us inside, she'll always tell us that somebody, somebody just escaped from the mental ward. So <laughs> be on the lookout. But yeah. But it was fun, yeah. That yeah, that's the area. Pity there's no more of the flat. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I know KB by the back of my hand. Well, except for the new Purumahan area, maybe. But town area, I really know well. Okay, let's go cycle to where I go to school. Hello St. John's Ha! This is where I spent the, my first six years of education From kindergarten up to primary five I think Or is it primary six? I think it's primary five Wow I wonder what it's like now um, Mine used to be at the old block uh, <laughs> super nostalgic um, I've met a lot made a lot of friends but I can barely count it in one, with one hand who I remember or get in uh, still keep in touch with so yeah <laughs> People are watching me. It's like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> of all places, you don't want to be vlogging in uh, KB must be so strange. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I wish I can go in, but I think there's a um, uh, Sunday church happening. So the church is just right there. And I remember when my dad is late, always uh, sometimes he's late to pick me up so I'll just wait in the church 
because there's aircon. <laughs> so I've witnessed like some um, funeral service and things like that. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember about a wedding, but yeah, I've sat there, you know, the the father doesn't mind, cause, you know, I was a little, you know, so, and it was hard, hard side, but yeah, okay, let's cycle through. It's just about 12.15 and the showcase has just started. Pretty cool, pretty happening. Lots of people, lots of vendors. Hopefully there's gonna be a lot more coming. Um, yeah, let's just go have a look. Finally, making my way home. Um, it's 5:40, so hopefully the weather is good. It doesn't rain, so you know I'll reach home in an hour or so. Um, it's been a long day, a long hot day. KB, KB. I don't know. It's extra hot here somehow. Um, but the event went pretty well the, the 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 amount of people who came was kind of surprising to us uh, I think a lot of the vendors also um, said they, they, they liked the crowd that they, 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 they had some good sales so yeah thank you KB people oh, um, I don't know I'm I'm not that tired actually and I'm not that hungry also I drank a lot of stuff like coffee, juice, tea, coke. <sighs> yeah, I just, I was just so thirsty. So, you know, had some food too, some prawns by the fat chef. And then, uh, what else did I eat? Um, ah, okay, I can't remember. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know. I wanted to eat something, but uh, I'm not sure what I want. Um, yeah, stop by Starbucks because I just had to have my uh, shaken lemon tea, the Zen tea. It's the only thing I always order from Starbucks. I don't do their coffee very rarely. Very rarely. Mm. Um, so yeah. Um, it's been good. Shall I go to work tomorrow? <sighs> I'm still thinking about it. Um, but yeah, let me tell you about KB. Um, as I said, I grew up in KB. I think I got here, um, I think around 1970. I think my, my we, we were originally from Bruna, uh, from Bandar, I mean. Uh, but my dad, he, he was an immigration officer, so he got transferred to KB. Um, I think it was around 1976 or 75. So, yeah. Um, and then, the, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I started kindergarten at St. John's. Um, and then right up, I guess, and I also started uh, my religious studies at uh, the religious school, which I forgot the name now. Um, and that's about it, actually, yeah. So, even though we stay in KB, my, my dad, almost every every Sunday, maybe, I think, or is it Friday, he would come down to Bandar and to meet uh, my uncles, aunties, relatives. He would bring a lot of Srikandi's uh, roasted chicken. I think they were the first who, who started it. So, he would have about 10 or 12 of them so we just you know give it to uh, my 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 uncles and aunties um, and probably his friends too so yeah that's what that's how my dad is um, uh, yeah normally we would go uh, the whole family back then there was only four of us just uh, my mom my dad and and my sister so uh, yeah back then it was the old road so it takes almost two hours I think to reach Bandar there's no highway or anything like that um, and and I think it, it's it's um, now what was I gonna say yeah, so every almost every weekend we would make down the trip to Bandar, um, and then the, um, the, the, mm. yeah, I remember that clearly. The the, the old road. Um, so yeah, basically I I, I grew up in KB. Um, spend my childhood um, in KB uh, so only in nine was it 1982 I think 1982 so we moved down back to Bandar my dad got transferred so I know KB and Syria very well except for the housing area maybe mm, but but otherwise, all this, uh, all this, uh, the, the deep areas of Syria, uh, I kind of know that uh, place. Uh, back then, you know, when it comes to Chinese New Year, we went to a lot of places. Um, yeah. So, Back then in KB, I always I also have uh, a lot of uh, relatives 
uh, two of my aunties, uh, my mom's sisters were here, so it wasn't, you know, um, so we get together quite regularly. Mm. Um, yeah, back then, you know, it's like, yes, I know, it's like the 1970s and 80s. So it was, uh, KB was dead <laughs> back then. Um, even going to Miri, the road was not paved yet. Okay? You actually have to cross those seven bridge or seven rivers I think oh, yeah okay yeah so that's why um, and when it rains you gotta have a 4x4 four four, a jeep otherwise you know you're not gonna get past some of the parts it's like they're just muddy and full of water um, but yeah I remember that pretty well um, I can't remember <laughs> me really much but I remember the journey and the road um, right now we're at the KB area um, oh no no I mean Syria um, my auntie used to live just there and there used to be a cinema here uh, the Roxana cinema watched a lot of movies there but I can't remember what movies um, KB had, were, uh, was Syria was pretty happening back then there was another cinema over there but I don't think I've ever been to that one but this is like really old school um, and usually the Gurkhas would have their fun fair for their charity and that is always fun you know uh, um, food and you know games and fun fun fair kind of games so that was really good um, what else mm, yeah I I don't know I, I, I have a few friends I guess in KB some are virtual ones who I've never met <laughs> Hopefully, you know, next time. Um, but other than that, not so much. Okay, I don't know what else to talk about. So, I'm just gonna end it here. Catch you guys next time.